Are we going to put on a great show for the High Patriarch of Hydra? As long as you are in Tokyo, you cannot negotiate with Hydra on equal footing. I can only protect you for 24 hours. After that, they can do whatever they want with this place. Same goes for you and Chime Gen. If you decide to protect him. This is not unexpected. Before the 24 hours are up, this place will come under blockade again. Hydra's people will gradually seal off all the roads that lead here and shut down all the stations. And then there will be nothing I can do for you. Last night, you should have taken the car and got the hell out of here, taking the injured girl and that ex-top host with you. It would have been difficult, but not entirely impossible. And yet, you decided to stay. Sir, that's a lot of money you put up for bailing us out. What are you going to do if we give you the slip? That is not for you to worry about. It's my job, and you should trust me to do it. I'm a pro. So the stage... Oh, well, it's not like I have a choice. I woke up this morning and found you still here, so I'm going to have to help you a bit more. Looks like the owner wants to wine and dine the Hydra, in the hopes of getting them to show some mercy. Of course. <laughs> Tokyo may not be our turf, but Takamegahara sure is. As the hosts, we have to show our guests a good time. We're throwing a huge party with dazzling performances tonight. It will provide a great atmosphere for smooth negotiations. Let's get to work, boys. There isn't much time left. Tagamagahara will host the grandest event ever. Find a swanky frock and dress yourself up. We are going to make the Hydra people feel right at home. <laughs> I've already delivered the drinks for tonight. They are outside. If you have some time, please help moving them inside. Leave them around the bar counter. Hey, newbie. Good timing. Johan and I are performing on stage tonight. I need to change into my costume. We'll be using this motorbike as a prop. Go check its coolant level for me. Here you are. We have a lot of guests coming tonight. We need people to help with the seafood. You do know how to chop a lobster, right? Head of the Fuma clan just called. They're at the front door of Tagamagahara, but they can't find a spot to park. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go, let's go. After all, we mustn't keep our guests waiting. Here you are, Fumakun. We saved a parking spot just for you. Ah, oh, the house is packed tonight. If it weren't for the owner, you wouldn't even find a parking spot. Susan, you have been very attentive and considerate. Ah, just leave the parking job to us. This way, please, Fumakun and Miss Sakurai. Shh! Take notice of this guy. Looks like nothing gets past you, does it? Chime is my younger brother. You're finally here, Fumakun. All the drinks are on the house tonight. Enjoy yourself. It is an honor to see Susan's first investment in Japan. But isn't there too much interference to conduct our negotiation here? The penthouse VIP room is all ready for you. It's very quiet up there. And the balcony offers a stunning nighttime view of Tokyo. The High Patriarch will be very pleased. You have my word that only the High Patriarch and the Devil Clan's Dragon Lord will be allowed in that room. Face meeting, just what we have been waiting for all this time. 
Yes, the High Patriarch has ordered that he doesn't expect any strangers in the meeting. You're saying me and Clan Chief Sakurai should stay and enjoy the show. Kaganagahara isn't an impenetrable fortress like the Tokyo Tower. I'm sure this place is already surrounded by Hydra's backup forces. <laughs> what can we possibly do to the one and only Emperor in a place like this? I assume you are pursuing the legacy of the dragon with your recent investment in us. I thought it was the innermost secret of the clan. I didn't expect it to be known to everyone. I wonder how many there might be in this world who are after the legacy of the dragon. It's depressing to merely think of it. All seals must crumble. All cages must rust. But what is imprisoned inside? That remains immortal. <laughs> Who are we to stop such a thing? Do you mean that this long-buried civilization will eventually return? I don't know. And nobody knows. Our powers are no match for it, and it's impossible to get off the wheel. We can only do as our instincts command. When the final apocalypse comes, I can only watch from the sidelines. Follow the instinct. Thank you so much for your beneficial advice, Susan. Tonight, you are my teacher. <laughs> Fumakan, you need to loosen up. You're in Takamegahara. Everybody else is drinking. Why shouldn't we do the same? I just want to ask you one question. Have you come to Japan to liberate God? Or do you want to bury him? I promise you that no matter who I am working for, and to what end, I'm still your friend. Until now. I came to Japan to send God back to hell. This world has no place for it. Here's to your answer. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs>